Well, hey, hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube family. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's see if Facebook's coming on. We we had a kind of a glitchy connection yesterday. I, I was wondering how you guys are doing on... Uh, can you guys on, on YouTube send me a note? Um, if it's... Uh, send me the quality look. Is it A5V5? Send me a quality note technical for audio video, five being best. Hello, Diane Kelly. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, for Facebook, can you send me an A5, V5, send me a quality check? Before I start today, we're going to have so much fun with One Point Perspective. I want to thank you guys for, for joining us. I just wanted to uh, thank you. This is our hour of pencil power, our kids special. The way we're funding it is through your donations. We're needing to raise $1,500 a month. <clears throat> and uh, we did the first month. We raised it. Thank you so much. If you guys have the resources to go to uh, uh, GoFundMe, type in Mark Kistler's Kids Special. I so appreciate it. Uh, also, all my new members on my uh, on my Draw 3D, thank you guys. We're, we're offering a 75% off to uh, help help us and help you through this a uh, crazy uh this this crazy crisis if you can uh just there's a 50 percent choice there's a 75 percent coupon choice um okay good i'm glad uh facebook's looking better today that's wonderful well thank you guys for your memberships here and we've had we've had several several of you pre-order my my book you can draw on 30 seconds from my website thank you so much for your pre-orders Remember, if you want an original drawing on the inside cover, at a, it's not $100. You choose the $50 version of this, uh, and Diane will post a little explanation of that. Uh, the way you, you get that pre-order my new book, you go to my website mark at markkistler.com right there. Okay. All right. Let's get going for our lesson. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. We're going to do One Point Perspective. It's going to be so awesome. I'm so excited. My 18-year-old teenager, he's still sleeping. Can you believe it? It's noon. I guess I guess he stayed up really late last night. Uh, he really loves those YouTube uh, videos about uh, vacuum cleaners and stuff. All right, so here's one version. Here's another uh, One Point Perspective. <laughs> this was... Um, the people were in the pool swimming. They jumped in the pool, and the pool overflowed into the to the uh, den. That was one version. Here's another uh, one point perspective idea. Here, we're just gonna have some fun. Here's here's one with the ant family. Uh, one point. We're gonna have some fun, and then uh, later this week, maybe we'll do one point perspective as far as the exterior, going <coughs> one point like the going to the uh, Santa Claus's uh, castle. Or in the desert. Here's an interesting take on one point perspective in the desert. So this is actually a lesson. This is uh, two lessons. Well, one lesson is one point. Then the next lesson is two point. Um, but we're going to have some, I mean, some fun here. Uh, and this is actually a, a lesson in um, my You Can Draw in 30 Second book. So I'm really excited about that. All right. Let's get going here. So let's start this. Uh, this let's start this drawing, this drawing bash here. Our fun drawing party. We're going to start with putting a uh, um, a dot in the middle. We'll go ahead and do our one point perspective. I'm not. I haven't. I didn't. I started late today, so I didn't have time to do a do kind of a a a, a, a pre. Usually, I start about an hour and a half before my webcast, so I get a, a real solid idea of what we're going to draw, and I rehearse the drawings. And But today, today, I, uh, I I woke up late. I slept in today. It was really, it was really nice. I actually had a good night's sleep. It was just, you got to, when you get a good night's sleep, you got to, you got to enjoy it while you can, right? All right, so let's get that centered. Let's focus it. All right, so on this one, I'm going to move this down just a bit so it's more comfortable for me to draw. And I'll move this down just a bit. One point perspective fun. This is going to be so cool. I really, really think you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, wonderful. Okay, great. Good to see everybody on there. We have uh, 
30 people on YouTube already. So great to have you guys joining me today. Thank you, Diane, for posting my links to the GoFundMe. Thank you for posting the links to ordering my book, my You Can Draw on 32nd book. <clears throat> I want to say hello to 11-year-old Ona. And I want to say hi to Nina uh, from Aspen. And uh, yeah, my haircut. I'll show you a picture of my haircut. My, my haircut, just so you know, I no longer look like this with the hair and the beard. <laughs> now I have no beard and I have no hair. My son, if you want to see it, you can go to Facebook and look at my, uh, uh, if you want to see it, you can uh, look at my, uh, my YouTube page or my Facebook page, sorry. We did it yesterday live. All right, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna really try to get this centered, all right. Now, right in the middle here, we're gonna put a dot. That's gonna be our one point perspective and I'm gonna make a room. All right, so let's, let's very lightly, we're gonna draw, that's the back wall. See, this is horizontal verticals. I line the vertical up with the side of the page. <clears throat> and remember, <clears throat> you use the, use the edge of your paper, the edge of your paper for vertical. So that's vertical. Uh, this line is a little crooked for me. I'm using the actual, the actual side of my paper here. So you get, get, get a square going, all right? Now, from this square, we're gonna line up See this, from the square to that corner, line it up. This is gonna be our vanishing point. Perspective comes from the Latin word, word, word spec, which means to view, to see. Perspective means to, uh, uh, perspective means to view, to see uh, depth, to see near and far. All right, so there's, this is gonna be our room. It's gonna be really cool. Now, <coughs> let's write this down right here. Let's write, <coughs> uh, Write the word perspective. So I'll put this up here. Write perspective, okay? Uh, perspective, it really equals alignment, all right? Alignment, using other lines to line things up. Perspective, and it, it's to, um, and it comes from the root word spec, from spec, from Latin. Like um, inspect, right? Think of think think of all the words that have the word spec in it. Spec, uh, spec equals uh, to view, right? To see. That's from the old Latin root of the word to view, or to see, right? Like uh, my glasses, you can call my glasses spectacles to help me view, to help me see, to inspect, which is to <coughs> um, view uh, clues, right? Inspector, inspect. Um, spectacular, to view something amazing, spectacular. Spectator, to view an event, right? You can think of all the spec words. Someone type in some spec words here. I think we're talking, yeah, we're talking a little bit about history. Okay, now, here we go. Let's go up here. I'm going to go to our, this is, th we're talking about three-dimensional perspective and what it really means. It means lining things up to a guide point or a vanishing point. And Richard says he used... Uh, uh, Daniel and Faith signing in. Come aboard. He's he he's calls me Commander, because back in the olden days, back what forty years ago, I used to be called Commander Mark on the show called The Secret City, and then in nineteen nineties, I was uh, called Captain Mark on the Imagination Station. We won the Emmy for that one. That's pretty cool. If you want to see that show, you can check out some great lessons on uh, Amazon Prime, you can check out. And then after you do Amazon Prime, be sure, please get yourself a family membership. Please get yourself a family membership. There's your 75% off coupon code. I totally appreciate it. It's 500 lessons with me. And it really, really, really helps us out a lot during this time. Go to draw3d.com. And if you appreciate these lessons, then thanks for helping out. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna make this, we're gonna start kind of simple. I'm gonna put a window over here. I'm going to put a two vertical line. Now, this vertical line is going to be longer. See, it's closer, all right? We're going to draw a little room. Now, this is our vanishing point. So this is going to be the top of the window. It lines up. You can use a ruler if you want, but I'm just going to do it freehand, all right? Now, I know Facebook's getting glitchy, but uh, thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. Now, watch this. This will be the bottom of the window. It's going to be a big window. Just We're going to do a really simple, a real simple uh, <coughs> Two point perspective or one point perspective. Now, over here, I'm going to put a door. All right, so let's put a door over here. This is a door. 
Oops, I drew the, I, I didn't need that yet. I didn't need that right there because I just needed to draw the top of the door right here and then there's a door, okay? So we drew a door and that's a door going outside. We'll put a little handle right there, okay? So there we go. So we're, it does see it's all loose and sketchy. It's all right. This one's going to be really, really easy. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make the first one really nice and plain and simple, so that everybody gets a handle on the idea for the whole lesson. So let's draw the back of the wall. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. And hi, uh, Facebook. Uh, hi, YouTube. Now I'm going to draw the windows. Let's darken in the window. This first one. Let's just make this really nice and simple. A very, very simple one. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we'll get more complicated as we go. Now, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and draw this, and we'll just make it. This is, like I said, this one's just an inter introductory one. Now, from the point, go uphill. See this? And then right here, see from the dot, go, go down here. See, we're darkening it in. Does that make sense, you guys? All right, so then... <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll make this just a very simple room. Very simple. And that's all. I'm just going to have that little room. Now, put thickness on the window. So, watch this. The thickness goes horizontally, horizon, horizontally, horizon, horizon. We have 44 people on YouTube. How many people do we have on Facebook? That means we have about 120 130 viewers on YouTube. That's wonderful. That's our vertical line. <clears throat> now, using the dot here. See, using that dot for the for our thickness, you see, using the dot, your guide point. Now, watch this. From this point, you're going to use that line. See, take your pencil and you line it up. Isn't that cool? Now, if you want to, you can take, let's put, let's put a little guy looking in here. Look, let's put a little guy. Look. Wait, look at here. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Uh, I need a girl. I'm, I'm gonna have a girl here. I need a girl's name. So you girl. I need a girl's name in there. Uh, Kate. Kate. Katen. Katen. I give you a shout out, Katen. Look at her hair. This girl's hair's. This is awesome. Okay, Christina. Okay, this is Christina. There's Christina's hair. Well, I should say I need a girl with long hair. All right, so there's her hair coming in, looking. She's like Rapunzel Christina. Mena. Hi, Mena. This is really cool. Uh, now, from right here, the sun, the the light's coming from the outside. So look at this. I'm gonna I'm gonna shade this wall to make it start looking 3D. So let's give this wall some shading. Hi, Nina. Oh, look, we have a little bit of conversation going between people. You're using the drawing lesson as a little get-together. That's wonderful. Uh, creative tribe. We're quarantining in creativity. I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here in our logo, but we're going to do something cool. So this is, this is cool. This is our one-point perspective exercise today. Isn't that fun? All right. And then outside, I'll leave outside really, really light. And there's our shadow. And then uh, maybe a little bit of shadow on the on the, the door handle. Coming down here a little bit. And then there's, there's a very simple room looking in. Very, very simple, very empty. All right. Do you love that? Now, let's... Let's get it a little. You know what? I'm going to leave this this the light line here just so, just so we know what we did. I'm going to go ahead. I want to leave. I want to leave that. I want to leave some of these guidelines. All right. So that that helped us. All right. So now, let's take let's take what we learned there. Let's go to score number two and now make it even more, uh, make it even more advanced. So I'm going to move my camera over. <clears throat> And I'll move my other camera over so we get a good shot of it. And move that up just a bit. Boy, my uh, Facebook sure is glitchy. Must be a lot of people on Facebook right now. All right. Yeah, sorry it's so glitchy, guys. We're doing our best here. YouTube seems to be going really smooth. Hey, how many... Uh, so let's do the same thing. Let's put a dot in the middle. 
And on this, this one, we're going to get a little more advanced. And each one will get more and more advanced, okay? Let's go ahead and block in our, the back wall. Let's block in the back wall. And in this book right here, in my You Can Draw in 30 Minutes book, or You Can Draw in 30 Days, You Can Draw in 30 Days book, I have a really fun one-point perspective exercise. And I think we'll use this, this drawing of one-point perspective. Let's, let's use this room here. Here, let's, let's put some stairs. I uh, see this, this is a room in one point perspective. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let me see it here. See, it's really hard for me to show you drawings. I'll show you that. Um, here, let me lift this up here. All right, there it is on YouTube. There it is on YouTube. And then I'll show you on Facebook here. And there it is on Facebook. Let's see if I can show it to you guys on Facebook. All right, let's see if I can get this camera. Yeah, I know Facebook is really glitchy right now. There we go, see that? We're gonna do a little room like that, okay? So that is where you're gonna use page uh, 171. <coughs> hey, Jose, I'm still, I'm still working on seeing those sketches. Uh, send me an email, please. Send me an email, Jose. Let's communicate via email. That would be really, really cool. I'd appreciate it. Mark at markkistler.com. Now, now I'm going to get back to the lesson here, but my Facebook is really giving me a hard time so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I have, this, I have the room here, right? We have a room. That's our back wall. Now, we're, that's going to be our guide point. Now, you can, if you want, you can use a ruler. So I've got this little clear ruler to kind of show you. You can take your dot. It goes, see, the corners are what we aim for. So you can do one dot here, see, take your ruler, go to the corner, see. You aim for the corner of the room. Go for the corner of the room. This is your fulcrum, right? And then you line it up. Then you draw it, and you draw, see, here's the corner. Now uh, you don't, you can use any straight edge. You can use the side of your paper if you want. All right, so this is gonna be our room right here, right? Now I'm gonna put a, a, a stairway over here on the side. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line, and I'm gonna draw another vertical line here, straight up and down. And the top of the stairs will line up here. So watch what happens. The top of the stairs, line up you see <clears throat> that's the top now the stairs themselves this is really interesting you go horizontal vertical horizontal vertical straight up and down horizontal and we'll just go all the way in now to make those stairs 3d i go to every corner see what i'm doing i go to every corner right here and i go to that now this is you can do this freehand too it just it's 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 kind of fun to, to use the to use a little ruler, you see how I do it so you can, <clears throat> you see what, what is happening? I'm using like this one point perspective. It's such a fun, <clears throat> excuse me, such a fun little uh, tip. See, you, you uh, line it up and there's your stairs. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna go ahead and darken in the stairs. I'm gonna darken in every one of these so that's a little darker. get it dark there we go isn't that cool little stairway there all right and then you know what i'm gonna have i'm gonna draw someone climbing the stairs so i think i'll have someone's foot right here you see there's someone's butt and someone's foot and i'll darken that in you can just see there you can see that there you put some the action lines up there oh we almost forgot the horizon line right across here see they're horizontal that's the roof all right isn't that cool now over here let's have some some fun with this door let's do a different kind of a door let's open the door up so i'm going to draw the door going behind our logo here um now from this one now watch this from the top of the door I'm gonna draw that thickness. You see, I'm gonna go like this and draw the thickness. So there's the top of the door. 
You guys with me on this? Do you like it? Someone, someone type in what you think of this one so far. Do you guys like it? Uh, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Jose. Robert Newstead, Stairway to Imagination. Oh, I like that. Robert Newstead's on right now, our executive producer for Imagination Station, where he and I won an Emmy for the TV show. He, one of his 15 Emmys that he has. Ha, 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 ha. I have one. I'm so excited. And if you want to see that, that series of Imagination Station, go to Amazon Prime. And again, you guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for considering getting a membership for Draw 3D. It's usually a $200 family membership to over 500 of my lessons. If you enjoy drawing with me, you'll love this. There's hundreds of hours of me. Now, if you don't like drawing with me, do not get this. If you don't like drawing with me, if you find me annoying, don't get this because it's hundreds of hours of me. I also want to thank you guys for considering sponsoring these webcasts. We're trying to raise $1,500 a month, and we would made it for the first month through this uh, uh, quarantine, uh, creativity and quarantine. Thank you. Thank you for your help, guys. Go to Marcus or GoFundMe. Type in uh, Marcus's Kids Special or Hour of Pencil Power. And might I be so bold as to ask you to pitch in a buck a lesson. If you have enjoyed these, if you value my time and my drawings, um, and if you have the resources, please consider uh, kicking in a buck a lesson. Now, if you don't have the resources, the most important thing is that you're drawing with me. That's more important than any money. So you're drawing with me. So we're, we're, um, we're, we're winners right now by drawing. Now watch this. We're going to go up to the point. Look at this. I'm going to draw the the thickness of that door, so we're gonna make that door open. And I wanna have someone poking in on this side, so I'm gonna draw someone's fingers coming around here and someone's nose, and then draw someone's fingers here coming over the top. And then who's this gonna be? So I need someone's name here. Who's looking in the door right there? Who's that? Who's that? I need a name. <clears throat> Anybody gonna tell me? Give me a name. Give me a name. Uh, Cindy the Dragon. No, Cindy the Dragon doesn't show her face on the TV series uh, this, on the uh, Secret City. Hi, Fatima. Okay, this is Fatima right here. There's Fatima. Now, on this one, here, I'm not sure. Let's just figure the shading out here. Hold on a second here. Let me darken these in. There's our... There's this. Now... Back, look, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this behind here really dark back here. I'm going to darken this in really dark. Dark, 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 dark. All right, is this cool? So we have stair. We had made it a little more difficult. It's dark out there. See that? Maybe he's in another room and he's peeking out. Maybe that's like, that's like the the pantry he was hiding in the pantry all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to shade i'll shade this side here add the shading to make that edge pop off let's darken in the roof i love now there's also a great there's a great sample of this it's called dirk's declaration in this book right here Drawing in 3D. If you have this book, look at look at the letter D, Dirk's Declaration. It's a wonderful lesson. Uh, I, I, I'll show you. Just It's hard for me to show you these samples, but just, let me see here. There it is, Dirk's Declaration. Let me see if I can show it to Facebook. Now, this is, I'll show it to YouTube first, okay? So here's YouTube. See that? Isn't that cool? There's Dirk's Declaration. That's a really cool one. <clears throat> in fact, we might we're gonna do put a, a window on door now. Let me oh let me show it to Facebook now. Sorry guys, sorry Facebook. Let me show it to Facebook here. Do you see it, Facebook? There we go. Kind of hard to see. I know. Pass the phone. All right, that's really cool, and, and, and that's another version that we'll play with there. All right. I just, I love, I love one point perspective. I love messing around with your, your van, the vanishing point system. Now back here, 
on the on the back of the wall. You know what I'm gonna do back here? I'm gonna put a window back here. Let's put a window so you can we can look outside. So we still have the the, the block, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a window back here. Now the window, the thickness of the window, this is gonna be really cool. The thickness of the window is lines up, right? So it comes down to the dot. See all the, the sides and the bottom, they all line up. And I'm gonna try to get that looking straight, focus that a little bit, pull it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this up just a bit. Let me see if I can do something here, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the camera. I wanna make the camera a little bit higher. Give you guys a little more of a distant shot here. Does that help at all? On, on uh, YouTube? Okay, this is cool. Now, on this one, draw the uh, vertical lines on the side of the window. Yeah, hey, Caitlin, I'm glad that you're you're making this. This is the hour of pencil power. I want this to be your the best hour of your day. I know it's one of the best hours of my day. It's just, I love it. Now, let's go ahead and we shade the, let's finish shading because shading's gonna help us on this windowsill here. See this? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shade this wall. I'm gonna shade this wall and then outside here, I'm gonna put, here, I'm gonna put a bunch of people looking in out here. Here, who's that? Who has curly hair? And here's another person out here looking. And then who, who's out here? Who, who are all these people out here? here? Here's two people looking in over there. Who's that? I need some names. Uh, I'm watching YouTube for the video and Facebook for the comments. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Aspen. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Bob. Uh, it's so good to see you guys on with me here today. Are you guys having fun? Do you like this this fun with one point perspective, with one point alignment? You see what I'm talking about. It's all about alignment. There's also a really good example of those Renaissance words. Remember I was talking about how there's these 12 words we learn to draw with, right? And these words are available at Draw 3D, right? Let me clean this off. Uh, the, uh, that, that's the drawing compass. It's a, the important word. We're using alignment. We're using these. But what I was trying to show you, I put the wrong chart up. The 12, here it is. These 12 words. You see this? Now, let me talk about this. Placement, look at this. Here's placement. Near things are larger. See this? This edge of the step is larger. Look at this. This part of the window is larger. The door gets larger as it comes down. This line is longer. Uh, here's another one. Size. This, it's larger and lower. See, it's placed larger and lower. All these words are defined. Let's shade down here. You can see these words uh, come into fruition when you use this one-point perspective. You see foreshortening right here. You see placement near things are lower, right? You see size near things are larger. You see, uh, I haven't used overlap except on the fingers. I'm going to shade around the fingers a little bit here. Okay, now also there's going to be shading under on the top here because that's that's kind of away from the light there, right? Now I'm going to darken in the top of that door. I'm going to darken in the top of that wall there. Isn't that fun, you guys? Uh, I reckon. Oh, one. Oh, good. Uh, make make it make it mom. Make it make make it yourself, mom on YouTube. It's called One Point Perspective. Now, also, we're going to be talking about more variations at one point. Right now, we're doing interiors. We're going to do some exteriors of like a roadway going at one point. We can draw a row of candy canes going in one, one point perspective outside. We can draw a desert road going back with cactus on both sides. I think you're really going to enjoy this book. Uh, the Draw Squad book. Yeah, this is my Draw Squad book. Was I ever that young? Look at, someone got this. Look at how young I was. I was uh, 22 years old when we got this, when I uh, got this book out, The Draw Squad. It's a wonderful, it's still absolutely wonderful. Holds up well with time. Drew, wrote it uh, over, what, I was 22 and I'm 56 over 35 years ago. 
And uh, it's, a, it's a great book. It's a really, really good book. It, it's held up well with time. All right, so I'm going to put some shadows under on the corners, a little bit of shadows. I'm going to draw the shade the top of the, the ceiling here and make it darker. And uh, put a little bit of a cast shadow here. A little bit of darkness there in the corner. Oh, I could just, I can have so much fun uh, with this one, playing with this a little bit more. But there you go. Do you guys like that one? All right. So there's our version uh, two for One Point Perspective. Now let's do another one, and we'll just keep on adding more details. So I'm going to move this camera down. And let's, let's go ahead and adjust this camera. And we'll put it down just a little bit for you. And... There we go. Maybe zoom it in just a bit. All right. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, there, there we go. I'm moving the camera. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Let's put our put our little uh, put a dot in the middle where our alignment's going to be. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure where Mario is right now. He's he, he might be down eating his breakfast lunch. But let's go ahead and let's uh, let's draw the draw draw the window here, and then we're gonna put put the, we have that dot right there, right? That's gonna be our dot. So this is get our back wall, and so I'm gonna go ahead and on this one, I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use my. I'm going to use my ruler here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw from that point. I'm going to go to the corners of my room, see, to this corner. And you guys can do this too. We'll line it up. You can just do freehand too if you want. Like this one, I'll just do freehand. See this? Just freehand it if you want. And then this one, it doesn't, see, this doesn't necessarily line up if it's not perfectly square. Mine's more of a rectangle. So what's important is to use a fulcrum and line it up. All right, so we have our room. Now, what are we going to do in this room to make it look different from the other ones uh, that we've drawn so far? Well, I kind of I like that room with the water pouring in, like someone jumped in the pool. So let's put a window on this side. So let's go ahead and use the alignment. I'm going to put a big window, and then I'm going to have water pouring in. That'll be cool. Uh, so... I'm going to draw that thickness. So there's going to be our window. And then let's take a look at my, that fun one with the water pouring in. Someone jumped in the pool right here. Let me see if I can find it again. That's a fun one. Yeah, this will be fun. Oh, there's so many cool, cool ones to draw here. Look, you guys, we can put the water pouring in, right? See that on, uh, on look at that. We'll put the water pouring in the window. Or we can do that the crazy stairs in every direction, right? Now, what's important about this one I want to show you guys, I want to share something about this one. See this? I want you guys to have your license to flop. I want you to give yourself permission to fail with your drawing. This is really, really an important thing to have. I want you guys to have your license to flop. Don't, the more mistakes you make, the better, the better you're going to learn, okay? How many of you like that? Someone type in, uh, this reminds me of M.C. Escher, one of my favorite drawings, I know. Here, let's put, let's, let's put a license to flop on our drawing. Let's make this our, our license to flop right here. This is our hour of pencil power. So I'm going to make this, this one right here. Look at, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to turn this into a license to flop right here. This is going to be our license to flop. This I'm going to put a picture of you. There's your little ID picture, right? And it's L I C E N S E, our license to flop. This is your license to make mistakes, okay? Then it's going to be, I want you to draw this and laminate this little license and carry it in your pocket. I want you guys to have your license to flop. The more mistakes you make, 
the better you're going to learn, the more you're going to learn, the more confidence. It's not going to be perfect that right off the bat you're going to you're going to flop and you're going to make things that look like a big bowl of spaghetti when you're trying to draw, you know, a goat. And that's great. That's great. Make flopping is great. So I'm going to draw a little uh, little little uh, child here, a little student. Okay, there's a little student. Now, who's this going to be? I need a name. I need a name on Facebook. I need a name on Facebook. Yeah, thank you. For the, that was a good one, the license on the logo. Thank, thank you. That's a good idea. We're both thinking the same. Well, thank you, Jose, Jose Valasquez, for your for your uh, your uh, input and support of Mario. We sure appreciate that. Owen, all right, this is Owen. Katie Chalupa De Jong said. Uh, so I'm gonna. Here's Owen. We'll draw Owen. Here's Owen. There's Owen. There's Owen's license to flop. I hope you guys have that. This is our hour of pencil power. Our best hour of the day, right, guys? Is this our best hour of the day? Your license to flop. I want you guys to know that the more mistakes you make, if your drawings, if you look like just a big pile of string on your on your paper at first, that's all right, that's wonderful. That means that you're taking creative risks. You're trying something. And you adults out there, I want you adults, take the creative risk, draw with your kids. I know it's uh, you haven't drawn since third grade. I know most of you think that you can't even draw a straight line. I know, I get it. I hear it all the time. But I guarantee you, if you can write your name, you can draw our license to flop. This is our hour of pencil power. Let's get back to the drawing. Now on this one, I'm gonna draw the, the water pouring in. So this will be really cool. I'm gonna put this up on my stand here. And I got, I got all these different one-point perspective ideas. It's going to be so cool. So on this one, we're going to have the water pouring in. So I got to adjust this back down here. There we go. All right, so now this one, we're going to have water pouring in. And the water, see, now I guess I should put the thickness of the windowsill first. It's a horizontal line, a horizontal line. We're lining up with the vanishing point. All right, so the water is going to be pouring in here. Look, it's coming over the, that, and it's going to be hitting the ground here. And this is going to be all like this, this splashing, right? It's all splashing it each way. All right, so I'm drawing it lightly at first. And then as it hits, and then it's going to go out, and I can draw this four short little ripple. See the water kind of is is going way out here and that's I ran out of room but the water's pouring in the room isn't that fun so it's coming down here and then I'm going to draw these contour lines look at the water is going to be pouring in and then I'm going to draw these like the splashing the foam the splash little water droplets splashing out Splashing out, we draw that foam. Draw that foam right along the base here. The water's coming in the room. And then what's important is underneath that window shell, I'm gonna make it dark. I'm gonna darken it in underneath here. I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow to define that. See that? Isn't that fun? Darken it in here. Do you guys love this? Isn't this fun? Put some droplets as it comes over the top. And then the window seal. I'm gonna go ahead and shade that side. And then we'll draw the water as it's pooling out here. Now to make it look like it's water, you put a couple, watch this, a couple vertical lines right here, look. Put a couple vertical lines and it looks like water. Little, the reflections, you see? Then put a little shadow under the water as it's spreading out over the room. See, too many people jumped in the pool. 
You see that? They're like, yeah, whoo, cannon, too many cannonballs. Cannonball, whoo. All right, so that's in this room. And on this way, let's put the stairways now. Let's put stairways on this side of the room. Let's do it, reverse it, okay? So I'll put stairways. I'm gonna draw a vertical line over here. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this lesson so far? Do you see pics left a comment box after this is posted? Um, I'm gonna put, uh, I, I do, we, we do, but I'd rather you put pics in my review, okay? Because I don't really uh, look back through all the comments that uh, in my past. I'd like you to post new comments in my review. I'll take a picture of this and I'll post it. And I forgot to do it yesterday. I'm still gonna do it for yesterday's lesson, all right? But this is such a fun one for one point perspective. Remember, all these all these lessons are gonna be in my, my new book. You can draw in 30 seconds. And I so hope that you guys go there and you pre-order this book. You can draw in 30 seconds. Now remember, uh, if you want me to draw a personal inscription on the inside of the, the front cover, I'll be happy to do that, okay? I'd be happy to draw the inside of the front cover. Uh, it's just, it's not $100, it's not that, it's $50. It's a $50 uh, offer. So when you go to my website, click store, go to the books, go to buy this book. Now for $20, you just buy the book. And then for $50, you can buy the book with an autograph. For $100, you can buy the book with an autograph and an original drawing. Well, that is now 50 bucks. Just choose the $50 version. And I'd love to draw so you guys help us out, help me out a lot. I appreciate it so much. And um, you get a great book. Now, this is a pre-order. The book is not finished yet. Obviously, I'm doing illustrations right now that are going to be that are going to be in the book. So uh, uh, be patient. It'll take a month or two. Uh, how about how to draw in 30 milliseconds? Yeah, how to, that, that's good. Let's do it. Let's, I'll do it. How to draw 30 days, how to draw 30 minutes, and how to draw... In fact, I have all three of the books here. There's my new one, but I'll show you. This is, this is funny. I like to put all... Okay, here's you can draw in 30 days. And then this one's out. Over, over a million of these are sold. And I think about 100,000 of these are sold. And I'm, I'm betting 10 million of these are going to sell because you can draw in 30 seconds. This is my favorite one. But these are all good. This is a wonderful trio. You should get all three of those books. A wonderful one. Okay, we're doing great with time. Um, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw uh, back here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do back there yet. Um, I think I'll, I'm going to put portraits on the wall. I'm going to put mom and dad portraits back here. That's what I'm going to do. So on this on this one, I'm going to draw. Here's mom. Mom and dad portraits. And dad. Here's mom and dad portraits here, okay? And so over here, so here's the, here's uh uh here's here's uh well here, we'll put them together. Of course, we want them together, right? Maybe it'll be a family portrait. So here's, here's, uh, this is like in the 1940s, right? So there's, what you know that old, that famous uh, one where they, that ha he has a, a hat on and then uh, they're, they're holding a pitchfork. There's a famous painting. And so here's, and then, uh, there's Ma, the mommy, and that's old. She's waving here. Hi. She's waving. She's coming out of the, out of the painting. And then he has his his arm over her shoulder. And here she is. All oh, beautiful. Yeah. There's there's the mama. Then here's Papa with a hat. There's a pick, oh, maybe they're outside of a window. It looks like they're outside of a window. I want it to be a painting. Here, it's gotta be a painting. I'll take that hand away. Uh, maybe maybe she's waving, but it's, it's, it's up higher, so it fits in the painting. 
She's waving, and then I'll make it into a painting. See, put a frame around the painting like a posted stamp. What do you guys think? Do you like my painting? Look at that. Am I a, am I a, 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 a classical painter there? All right. So on this one, we shade the side there. We shade that. I'm going to put a little more darkness in the corner. And I'm going to shade around the painting. I'm going to make the painting, painting look uh, standing out. Do you guys like this? What do you guys think? Hey, we have 60 people on YouTube. 60 people. That means we have 180 on YouTube. How many do we have on Facebook, you guys? Uh, yeah. Oh, Farmer and his daughter, not his wife. Okay. I didn't know that. That was that painting of, uh, painting by Grantwood in Iowa. That's right with the pitchfork, you know. Uh, I do watercolors. That's awesome. Well, there we go. So we have a little what, people jump into the pool outside. The uh, the painting on the wall, the stairs. Oh, we got to line up the stairs. We forgot to line them up. I can do it right with my pencil. It's just my imagination here. And then we got to put that's a horizontal matching that. That's a horizontal straight across. This is lined up line. I'm going to go ahead and I'll shade that wall to make that edge pop out. So now we practice drawing stairs on both sides. So now in the last one, we're gonna do another version of this one point perspective. We can put a room, like put your bed in a cabinet. You can kind of do an interior design. You can design your room before you move things around. See how it looks, right? Let's see, here we go. I'm gonna darken this in here. All right, so there we go. We have. That's cool, right? Do you love it? So we've done some really good. We have a simple one-point perspective, and then we got more, more detailed. And now we're going to do a really cool, crazy one. All right, so let's move on. Our hour of pencil power, we're making progress. We, we've been going for 40. So we have about 13 minutes. This is awesome. Oh, thank you, Daniel, for putting the, uh, the painting there. That's wonderful. Daniel put the American Gothic by Grant Wood. Grant Wood from Iowa. Thank you for uploading that. That's cool, you guys. Thanks. Uh, that's Here, I'll show on uh, here on YouTube. Guys, can you see that up there on the TV? He put that. It's uh, really cool. that Someone put in, on Facebook put the link to that. All right, here we go. Now, on this one, we're going to start the same way. Put a dot in the middle. And I'm going to make create a room around that dot. Okay. I'm just going to draw the square, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. All right, put a dot. I'm going to move the dot down just a little bit so it's more in the middle right there. All right, let's go ahead. We'll use our, we'll put, these are our corners of the room, right? And from here, let's go ahead and line up that corner. Now, this one I'm going to put, uh, I think I'll put um, wooden beams on the, the ceiling. I think that'll be cool. Or we could put a roll of, of, of lights down the side. I'm not sure. Let's see how, how, how it's going to look here. So I think on this one, I'm going to put some wooden beams on the ceiling. So I'll draw the first wooden beam, and then I'll draw another wooden beam, and then another one on the corner. So I think I'll draw five wooden beams. All right. So now I gotta erase these because they gotta be this one's gotta be a little bit lower. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we'll start with the middle one, the middle wooden beam uh, from the center. It gets larger. See this so there's one wooden beam. Then the next one right here is gonna be a little bit larger than that. And then we'll line that wooden beam up. These are going to be some cool wooden beams here. Then I'm going to line that wooden beam up. And then this next one's going to be over here. 
and it's gonna come past the corner just a bit. All right, and I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna line up that wooden beam right here. And that's one, there's two. And then I'll do another one on the end here. There's three. And then it comes down on the corner here, four. All right, this will be really cool. All right, let's move this up just a bit. And how are you guys? We have, that was awesome. We have 60 on uh, uh, YouTube. How many do we have on Facebook, guys? How many do we have on Facebook, guys? Let me know. I'd love to know how many. So I'm going to darken in these wooden beams here. Then we're going to put thickness on them. It's gonna, I think you're really going to like this one here. We'll draw wooden beams across the ceiling. This is going to be cool. We'll just take our time. And we darken it in here. All right, now for the thickness, the thickness is vertical, see? The thickness is vertical. It skips the center, and it's vertical here, see? So then we're going to put our thickness of the wooden beams here. So this one lines up with the center fulcrum. And you draw that thickness, and this uh, lines up with the center. So the thickness, but this one you won't see any thickness because it's coming right towards your eye. You're going to see thickness on this one. So I'll put it there, line it up with the fulcrum, and I'll darken it in. And then this one disappears from our point of view. All right. And then we draw the ceiling back there. I'm going to go ahead and shade. I want to sh I'm going to shade the, the thicknesses of these. I'm going to go ahead and shade the thicknesses all the way. Do you guys like this one? 18 viewers on uh, Bookface. That's funny. Glad to see you guys out there. There we go. Do you love it? Glad to have you guys on YouTube. Glad to have you guys on Facebook. Now, <clears throat> on this one, I think I'm going to do a little different uh, on this side. I'm going to draw an arch door. So this one, I'm going to draw the vertical line here, but I'm going to arch the top of the door. I think I'm going to arch the top. And then I, I'm going to put some, the steps again. I'm going to put these steps again here. It's kind of like an old, uh, old like gothic, not gothic, a, um, almost like a, a an old cathedral kind of kind of room, right? All right, this is great. Now, so I got, I'm gonna draw the archway. And then draw that thick darkness. Now, we have the stairs, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Now for this stair, I'm gonna line it up. How are you guys doing, one through 10? How are you doing here? See, I put my pencil on the fulcrum, I put my ruler against it, then I move it, uh, put my pencil on the point, put my end, line it up with the center dot for the alignment. One through 10, 10 being great. Let me know how you're doing on this one. One through 10, 10 being great. Let me know how you're doing. This is cool. Line it up, see? And it gets even more as it moves up. Isn't that wonderful? Love it, love it, love it. Now, on this one, I think I'm gonna put a window back here. Watch this, I'm gonna put a window. I'm gonna try something it, it really cool, put a window in here. And then I'm gonna see the thickness of that window. You're gonna be able to see outside there. This will be really interesting, watch this. And then the window, the bottom of the window, look at that, it's horizontal, right? but you still see that thickness on the side. And then look at, I'm gonna darken the outside. And then look at, I'm gonna put a little, someone looking in. Little, little face looking in over there. Isn't that funny? All right, now, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade this 
I, I flopped on the beams, but license, yeah, license to flop. License to flop. The beams are tricky. It just takes some time. It takes a little bit of practice. A little, just do it a few times. Just using that one point perspective. Now we're, we're kind of having fun. We're going to do some interesting little tidbits here. Now I'm going to do something that I did in my uh, draw, my uh, You Can Draw in 30 Days book. I'm going to do, on Dirk's declaration, I want to add a, uh, a scroll on this page here. Watch this. I'm going to do a scroll lined up like a big announcement. So this will be cool. The scroll is going to line up just like the window does, but watch this. Watch what I do. On this page, I'm going to draw the scroll, and it's going to go up. It's going to come down. Look at this. I'm going to draw this, this really cool scroll mounted on the wall, like a sign or something. Okay, it's, it's kind of this sketchy s scroll. And then, let me clean this up a little bit here. Now watch this. A uh, single point is not my cup of tea. <clears throat> well, thanks thanks for trying it. Thanks for just watching. And it, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be perfect. I just want to give you guys the choice to try different different drawings, different ideas, different ways to create the illusion of 3D. Remember, drawing in 3D is the illusion, the illusion of, of depth. So look at this. We're, we're drawing this scroll, and even the scroll is lined up. See, that it goes past that line. You see that? And then you draw the inside. Isn't that cool? And then right here you can have, like, the, the scroll's kind of ripped right here. I put a little shadow underneath it. Put that little shadow. We got a little scroll, a little declaration up here. You can put some some words right there if you want. Now watch this. What would happen if I put what would happen if I put two arches back here? Let's see. I'm gonna take this. Let me erase this now. What would happen if I put two arches back here? Let's see. We know that there's that wall, and there's the floor, and there's the the window. I'm going to actually cheat that corner of the room here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and draw. Let's see if I draw that line, how it looks. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and draw it. See that? I drew the drew that corner of that wall over there. Now, I want to put two arches. What would happen if I put two really cool arches here? Do you like it? Now, let's see here. Come down. And, wow, we have two minutes to our hour of pencil power. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me. I had so much fun. And I'm going to do my, my blood pressure. I, I always check my blood pressure, like morning and midday. And at night, and my blood pressure after I do my one hour on my elliptical. Are you proud of me? Someone tell me how proud you are. This is like my 10th day of doing it. Uh, one hour a day in the morning. First thing I get up when I go on for my hour on the elliptical. My little elliptical machine. And my goodness, do I feel better. My blood pressure drops considerably. 10, 12, 14 points on that one. Now look at the thickness. Now watch this. The thickness still goes up toward... That center dot, see? So the, the, the arches you see, this is on the right, this, this door's on the right side, so the thickness is on the right side. This door's on the left side, so the thickness is on the, wait, sorry about that. All right, <coughs> the thickness here is on the, the uh, left side, that's right. This door's on the left side, so the thickness is on the left side. That's called the law of thickness, and you can see why, you can see the logic to the law of thickness in this uh and then just for the you make it dark like it's uh nighttime outside i just like that contrast of that darkness do you guys love it now how crazy do you want to get we can make this one really even more we have 57 on youtube good look at this daniel saint phase shouted so proud oh thank you one hour can i i got a get my blood pressure down from all the anxiety and stress right i tell you and after i draw 
for an hour with you guys, my blood pressure always goes down another eight to 10 to 12 points. Can you believe that? Isn't that wonderful? Wait, I'm doing something wrong here. I still like that shading, but we gotta shade the wall because to be consistent here, right? I wanna shade it a little darker up here. Shade it a little darker inside here. All right, now, let's focus that. Looking good, you guys. How are we doing on Facebook? A 10-day streak, fantastic. Oh, look at this. You guys are awesome on YouTube. You guys are awesome on Facebook. All right, now, here, let's shade all these. How many of you have drawn with me for uh, 10 days? How many of you drawn with me for 15 days? I think this is day, it's got to be near day 40 for us. I'm not sure what day number. I haven't been keeping track of that. But what's the date? I need to write the date down here. Does someone have, can someone give me the date? Um, tell me if you guys know how many days you've been drawing with me. Put 10 or 15 or 20. Day five, that's wonderful. I'm so glad you're drawing with me. But uh, uh, do I? No, I don't. St I start with light. I, I never use light blue. A lot of artists do. I just use pencil. I have before, but I find that the blue tends to give it a little residue, a little waxy residue, and it's hard for me. It's good if you're doing ink, but I like pencil. I like the graphite of the pencil. I like the look and the feel of the pencil. I'm a pencil guy. I love pencil. And see, just you can do layer upon layer, and you just keep working the shading. And you can uh, darken in where you want to, start light. And then up here, look, we got to put the thickness of our little scroll, little shadow. Little scroll down here. Do you guys love that? Let me move this over just a bit so you can see more. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. And then that one looks pretty good. All right. Move that one up. Looking cool. Now, we have, I'm out of time, I know, but I, I'm going to add, I want to add uh, steps here. I want to add steps coming down here. So watch this. I think you'll like this. I think you'll like this little, one, one more detail. So. For these steps, watch this. I'm, I'm using this. I'm still using the center guideline as my. But watch this. I'm gonna do these steps. So this step here. Watch this. Okay. So I'm gonna make. There's that right. Draw that line. And then for the first step. Coming down there, right. So then there's the line. There's the step. Now for this first step, watch this. Okay, there's our first step. And then I'm gonna put another step. Isn't this cool? Now I'm gonna go right off the end of the paper. I'll move this down so you can see it. I'm gonna end up going right off the end of the paper because it's just another, I just can't stop myself. A little step coming down here. Isn't that fun, you guys? So then we shade the, shade the steps. And I knew we were going to go crazy on this one. I knew it. The last one. I like making the last one really detailed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad you guys decided to spend part of your day drawing with me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for considering signing up for Draw 3D and supporting me and my family and my team. Thank you. Attitude of absolute gratitude. I appreciate the support. I know it's a crazy time, and we certainly need the business. So thank you so much. And again, if you want to pitch in a buck a lesson, uh, that the, the lessons you've enjoyed, if you enjoyed lessons with me you know if you have had fun with five lessons pitching five bucks to my gofundme i'd really appreciate it Just gofundme type in uh, mark kistler's mark kistler's kids special and uh only if you have the resources okay if i'm just glad you're drawing with me the most important thing is that you're drawing every day you're 
enjoying the life transforming, the life enriching, the life defining power of the visual arts. I can't stress that enough. It's, it's so important that you guys just, just be creative every day. It's going to help you be more patient. It's going to help you be happier. For me, drawing is the elixir of joy. Okay, again, drawing is my elixir of joy. All right, so there's our, there's our, there's our drawing. Do you guys love it? <clears throat> All right, well, thank you guys. Hey, I just got a membership for the Draw 3D. Thank you guys so much. Again, this is our Hour of Pencil Power. Hour of Pencil Power. And I'll write that there. And, uh, and this is, I'll sign it from Mark Kistler. And do you want to contribute to the GoFundMe? We appreciate it. The GoFundMe. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then what was the date? Did, oh, it's 4-21-20. So let's put the date down here. 4-21-20. Let's take, now I'm going to post a whole image of all of our pictures. I'll, I'll do a full post right now. In fact, I'm going to get caught up on this. I'll do that. That was our fun with One Point Perspective, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for drawing with me. Thank you for your contributions to GoFundMe. Thank you for pre-purchasing a $50 version of my personally inscribed and personally illustrated. I'll draw a picture on the inside cover of that book. It's a big book. This is just a small little art card. And thank you for signing up for draw3d.com. Remember, the discount code is Kislow 75 off. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Keep drawing. I love you. Stay positive, stay creative, and be patient with each other. Be super, super patient. Bye, everybody.